Today, you're joining us in Wimbledon in the highly sought after and prestigious postcode of SW19. We're gonna be showing you inside this new build property just behind me, listed for 2.1 million pounds with here estate agents. Now it's got five bedrooms, three bathrooms, just over 2,200 square feet of interior space. And it has some great transport links with Wimbledon station just around the corner, offering you access to that Northern line. It's really convenient. Now the property, as I mentioned, is a new build. You can see that red brick behind me. It looks great with those black window frames and door frames as well. But it does benefit from some of those old Victorian London home traditional features. We've got some great spacious interiors. So this property really feels like the perfect family home. I think we should head inside. We're currently stood in the garden. The property also has some parking out the front as well, which is really convenient for London. But we're gonna head to the front door and kick this tour off. Let's go. Let's go. Now you join us in the entrance to the property, we can stick a quick floor plan up before starting the tour off so you guys can get your bearings, pause to read that. In the entrance hall, we have great ceiling heights. As I mentioned before, it's like that modern take on the Victorian features, creating loads and loads of space. Through the property, you're gonna see some very impressive carpentry as well. This staircase being one of those main focal points of that. We've got loads and loads of storage here at the front of the property. Very bespoke, they look lovely. First room I'm gonna take you in is this reception room here with two access points. So Jav, shall we head in? We switch off the stone flooring to this herringbone wood pattern, which looks very luxury. Mm -hmm. Also is heated. I can feel it on my feet now and it's very toasty. Oh yeah, we need this on this yes. cold December day. Exactly, but yeah, great sitting room, a great formal space. We've got windows at both ends of the room as well, bringing some nice natural light in. We have a very special feature behind there, which we are going to show you soon as well. Yeah, I love the lights in here. You've got two of the same. Yeah. They look so cute. They look cool, don't they? But we're gonna head back out into the hallway, back onto these stone tiles. We have a powder room WC in here, and then we move on into the kitchen. Now, this is so spacious, so airy. We've got a south facing garden, that, which we will show you. We started off the tour there. So we have such a great sun soaked aspect of the property. All of this kitchen, just some nice dappered shade. It looks very stunning, doesn't it? It does. I'm a big fan of this green color theme as well. Oh, I am, you yeah. know me. <laughs> We've got the brass handles, which really complement that nicely. We've got the central kitchen island, absolutely massive. And it's such a clean and seamless design throughout this whole house. Yes. We've got the induction hob here, integrated NEF appliances all the way through. And it strikes me as somewhere that would be very easy to clean this kitchen. Yeah, it does. I just can't get over how much storage yeah, there is. Yeah, insane amounts of storage. I mean, all the way up here. <laughs> we've, yeah. got, we've even got storage inside this kind of like bench seat here with the more wooden style. Yeah. Such a cool feature. Love the ambient lighting that we have through here as well, even on these shelves and below the units in the kitchen as well. Yeah, I think this is one of my favorite kitchens. Yes. And then we have this dining table here. Love the marble. Looks great, doesn't it? Especially when that sun strikes it. Yeah, yeah. it looks, looks pretty stunning. And next to where Jazz is now, we do have a little breakfast bar section behind the kitchen island. So you can sit and eat your breakfast here. We've also got some nice storage there too. Yeah. Let me show you this little feature before we head into that little lounge in there. So this door slides all the way out of the way. Whoa. And it gives us this central atrium in the property, allowing loads of natural light to flood in, but also another little outdoor area. I like the feeling of zen in here. You've got all the light coming through, that garden there, the wood and the green throughout. Yeah, yeah, it does look lovely. Like, let's check out this little lounge space then. We've got two sofas here. Again, the sun comes in nicely and just hits these sofas. It'd be a great place to sit and enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning, I imagine. Mm -hmm you know, right off the kitchen, but it, it is still separate. It's got a nice little divide. Ceiling height comes down slightly. Yeah, looks lovely in here. And that mirror is pretty stunning as well. It looks like the sun, right? It does. Speaking of which, let's head into the garden so we can have a look back at this property soaking in the sun. So we step outside onto this patio area. Imagine this would be a great place for some alfresco dining, maybe yeah. even like a nice barbecue setup. Then we do have some grass as well, just beyond that. Great to have some lawn space. I love this little walkway here in the summer months when these trees are all flowering. I'm sure it looks lovely as well. Yeah, should we go all the way to the back? Yeah, let's have a little look back. Another patio space here, plenty of potential. Hot tub would be good where you are, Jazz. Oh yeah, definitely. Wow, look at that. Check that out, we've got solar panels on the roof. The property has an EPC rating of B, which is very energy efficient, especially in London for a home. Yeah, it's also very special to get a detached house on a street like this. Yeah, absolutely. Big win. Wow. It does look great, doesn't it? It does. Right, 
Jazz is gonna head upstairs now and show you guys the bedrooms. Let's go guys. Let's go. We're up on the first floor now. We've got the herringbone style flooring on the landing and then we've got this incredible bespoke oak staircase running all the way up. I'm gonna take you into the principal suite. So we come down this hallway lined with wardrobes. In addition to that, we also have some shelves and railing there just before we go into the ensuite. We've also got those like sky wells up there as well, bringing loads of natural light into this little area. In here, we have a great sized principal bedroom. We've got the double bed in the middle, views out to your garden. And like we said before, it is south facing. So you've got all this sun yeah. flooding in, really heats the room up. Like Tom said before, we've got EPC rating of B. Insulation is great, so all that sun that comes in does get trapped in here, which is great in the winter. Through here, we have the ensuite. Half marble tiles on the walls, huge mirrors. We've even got the recess above, so the light's coming down. Double basins here with the brass fixtures, and I love the fact that we've got wood on the shelves below. Marble flooring, we've got a massive walk-in shower here, once again, gold fixtures, and then we've got some recesses for shelving your products there. Come on out, Tom. We're gonna go straight across and I'm gonna show you the family bathroom. I love the tiles we've got on the floor and on some of the walls. Gives me a big like aqua theme. Yeah. You know, with the with greys the and the blues. Yeah. Yeah, it looks lovely in there. Got a nice bath in here too. Once again, gold fixtures. We've got this window here. So the shower's hidden. So, you know, no one's gonna watch you showering. But we also have a mirror. Yeah, it's actually built in. Yeah. Almost like an optical cool. illusion there. It looks like a window. That's what I thought. That's yeah. why I got a bit confused then. <laughs> but yeah, so really nice spacious bathroom, basin here, and then yeah, a huge walk-in shower. Next bedroom. Here we have another great size double bedroom. We've got a nice desk situated in front of your two windows. They're huge as well, yeah. bringing in so much light from outside. And yeah, we've got some really nice bits of interior design as well as some storage inbuilt on that wall. Last bedroom on this floor. I really like this bedroom. I like the dark gray features throughout the headboards, the bedside tables. We've got a wardrobe and some drawers. And then we've got a view out to your back garden, but it's quite private. So no one's really looking in on you because we're at the side of the building. And I think that is really nice. And it's so warm in here. You couldn't be more color coordinated for that room. You're Thanks. in the black and white zone. Now I'm gonna take you up to the final floor and show you the remaining rooms. Here we are up on the top floor. I've got the Velux window above, creating loads of light in here and sending it all the way down. It's so cool to look down there. Should I have a peer? Yeah, have a peer. Have a peer's Morgan. <laughs> wow. Nice. Anyway, we've got some shelving here, but I'm gonna take you into this room here. It's currently set up as a lounge. I love the interior design once again. We've got the Velux windows bringing in loads of light. No one's looking in on you either because we're really high up. This top floor is great. It could definitely be used as like a self-contained living area. Say if yeah. you had a maid or a teenager or a nanny because you've got everything up here. Yeah. For example, <laughs> we have a gorgeous bathroom with the slate style tiles. And yeah, once again, we've got Velux window, so no one's looking in. And we've got this recess here with the lighting, which creates a really nice ambience throughout. Gold fixtures, again, they're everywhere. Look, they're even on the doors. Yeah. And then I'm gonna head straight across and show you in here. This is a great addition. We've got kind of this little utility space. You know, you could have anything up here. It could be converted into a proper kitchen as well. And then we've got the Velux window bringing loads of air in. Gonna take you into the final bedroom. I love this room. We've got a twin setup for kids in here. That dormer little setup as well where the window is just gives you so much more space inside this room. If you compare it yeah. to the one next door, this would be a great place for a double bedroom. The lights are set up for it as well with the plugs. Yep, it looks stunning in here. So we hope you guys have enjoyed this tour. We're in such a great area here in Wimbledon. An abundance of shops, cafes, eateries, all right on your doorstep. And we're so close to London. Now make sure to leave a like and subscribe. We're doing Vlogmas at the moment, so we're bringing you a new house tour every single day. You're welcome. <laughs> but yeah. Comment down below your favorite part and we'll see you in the next video, guys.